Question F32 says, the beam has a weight of 700 pounds. Determine the shortest cable ABC that can be used to lift it if the maximum force the cable can sustain is 1500 pounds. All right, so the first step, of course, is to draw a free body diagram of our system. So we're pretty much explicitly showing all the forces acting on the beam. And I just simplified the beam as a straight line, as you can see. And since this is a cable, these are going to be forces and tension. And this is very important to consider because this determines the direction of the forces. And of course, here we have the angles theta. And then I'm just going to label these forces with a T for tension. And then going back to the problem statement, we can see that we're dealing with 1500 pounds for the maximum force. So I'll simply set T equal to 1500 pounds. And lastly, of course, we need to account for the weight of the beam as well. So that'll simply be 700 pounds. And in our free body diagram, we should also have the length of the beam, which is 10 feet. And of course, we should also have our coordinate system, x, y. This is, of course, very important for representing the direction of our forces. And now moving on to the major step in statics, which is equilibrium. Remember that we always want our system to be stable with the sum of forces equal to zero. So right off the bat, we see that the weight is obviously acting in the y direction. So we can go ahead and begin the equilibrium analysis by summing up the forces in the y direction. And so of course, that's going to be the negative 700 since it's acting in the negative y direction. And then plus the y component of the tensile forces. And so completing the right triangle, this is ty. And I'm just going to redraw the right triangle over here. Here we have theta. And then the x and y components. As well as the value of the force, 1500, on the hypotenuse. And of course, right now we need the y component of the force which will be equal to sine theta times 1500. And of course, keep in mind that we have two tensile forces and they both act in the positive y direction. So this will end up being plus two times 1500 sine of theta. So that right there is our first equation completed. And now rearranging and simplifying this, we have 700 equals 3000 sine theta. And now we can divide the 3000 to the other side. So this ends up being 0.233 equals sine theta. And now solving for theta, we can take the inverse sine. So this ends up as theta equals sine inverse of 0.233 which is equal to 13.49 degrees. So now knowing the angle of theta, we can go ahead and find the length of the cable. So here I'm going to redraw the triangle. And for the bottom, I'll add 5 feet, which is half the length of the beam. And substitute the value of theta, just like so. But now we're solving for the length of the cable. So I'll be labeling the hypotenuse as L. And of course, the y component, y. And so of course, here we can use trigonometry again to solve for the length L. This time I'll go over it more step by step. Starting off here with SOHCAHTOA, we can go ahead and implement cosine. Since we know the value of the adjacent side of angle theta, so that'll simply be cosine of 13.5 degrees is equal to adjacent over the hypotenuse, which is 5 over L. And so solving for L, we have L equals 5 divided by cosine of 13.5. And that is equal to about 5.142 feet. However, the problem wants the entire cable ABC. So of course, that is this entire length right here. So in that case, the length ABC 
will be equal to twice the length L. So that's going to be 2 times 5.142, which ends up being roughly 10.28 feet.